I'm now going to look at installing Windows 10 on our system. So far we've got a bare metal machine which successfully boots up and also I've made a few modifications in the previous tutorial to the BIOS so we now recognise our M.2 drive. To get Windows 10 installed on my new system I need to install it from my USB flash drive. A bootable version of Windows was created on this flash drive in a previous tutorial, but now I want to see if the motherboard will actually recognise it. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the flash drive into the USB 2 port on the front control panel of the case, and then I just press the power button. So now I just press the delete button or F2, so I can enter the UEFI or the BIOS utility. Now I can go ahead and go into the EZ mode, either by pressing F7 or clicking on the menu item here. And you can see on the boot priority menu that um, we now have not just our M.2 SSD recognised, we also see the Kingston USB solid state drive has also been recognised. So I'm now going to exit the BIOS so the system will restart, and this time it will restart and I'm not going to press delete or F2, I'm just going to let the boot priorities run through and eventually it will work its way through to the USB flash drive and it will find the Windows operating system installed there. And as you can see, the Windows logo has now come up on the screen. So that means that the software on the motherboard has detected Windows and it is now booting up Windows from the USB drive and then it should start the installation process. And sure enough, there we have, we've got the Windows dialog there where I can choose my install language and also the time and currency format and the keyboard layout. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose those. Now I'm located in the UK, so I'm going to choose that. And uh, now I'm going to carry on with the install and the setup is starting. Now, you want to make sure you have an activation code for your version of Windows and I'm using Windows 10 Professional and I have uh, an activation code for that. So I'm going to go ahead now and apply that here and then it's just a case of uh, clicking on the next button. So just go ahead and accept the terms and conditions there, hit next. Now you want to select the custom install Windows only and that's fast, so make sure you click on that one. Now when it prompts you for where to install Windows, I want to install it on my M.2 drive, which has one terabyte, in fact shows up as 931 gigabyte. So that's my M.2 drive. So I'm going to select that and have Windows installed there. And then just click on the next button. And then Windows will start copying various files across onto my hard drive to prepare for the installation. The actual installation process from now on is fairly straightforward. It's really just a case of following the prompts that come up and entering your information and details. Okay, so the files are now copied over and Windows needs to perform a restart. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And again, when I get the Republic of Gamers logo, I'm not going to hit the delete button. I'm just going to let it run through to Windows now. Okay, and like I said, Windows will now start prompting me for a bunch of information, particularly to do my location and any Microsoft account details I may have. So I'm going to tell Windows my region is the UK, so it's just yes for that. My keyboard is for the United Kingdom and yes for that. So Windows is now detected. I've got a Wi-Fi adapter on my motherboard so it allows me to connect to my Wi-Fi hub. So I'm going to go ahead now and enter the security information for that. So the advantage of having the connectivity to the internet straight off here is that Windows will obviously go across to the Microsoft site and find any updates that uh, it may need during the installation process. 
Now, you can be prepared for Windows to reboot your system several times during the process. So now the Windows install is going to prompt me if I've got a Microsoft sign-in account, which I have. So I'm going to go ahead now and enter all this information, my username, my ID and my password. So I'm going to register with that. So I don't want to bore you too much of this information because um, just enter your own. And if you want to set up a PIN code, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do that because it makes life logging in a little bit faster, especially first thing in the morning. You can always skip this step if you want to, but I'm just going to go ahead and set that up now. And like I said, you're now going to be prompted for a whole bunch of stuff to do with your setup, whether you want OneDrive, uh, link it to your Android app, or you want to use the personal assistant. So I'm just going to decline that. And you can set up Windows however you like. You can also change these uh, options and configurations later on once uh, you've installed Windows. You don't need to do it all now. You can always go back and change your mind. OK, so once you've uh, gone through all of these prompts, the installation is complete or reboot again. And this time we should actually be booting off our M.2 drive. And it should be our new fresh installation of Windows 10 on our new build. Now, so our system works efficiently, we need to start looking at installing some other utility bits of software. And these little bits of software are called drivers, and they allow the hardware and the operating system to talk to each other quite effectively and more efficiently. Now, to do that, Asus provides us with a utility called Armor Crate. And because we've got our internet connection already set up, we will now go across the internet and do some analysis of what drivers we need to install. And I'll be walking through that process in the next tutorial.